It's Thursday the 9th of September, 6.25. I had porridge and banana for breakfast and then two hours after that I had some nuts and a coffee. I didn't realise it was that far after breakfast. I thought it was still in the period to have a snack because I should be having my snacks with my meal. I wasn't really hungry, I just wanted something to eat with the, um, with the, with the coffee. I was thinking about that, like coffee is a problem because it causes me to eat when otherwise I wouldn't. But I really want the coffee. <laughs> That's the problem. Anyway, I was 75 kilos today. I don't know if I said I was 75 yesterday, but I was actually 75 one yesterday. And today I'm 75, but it was 4 o'clock. I woke up at 4 in the afternoon, so it's not surprising really that I would be 75 kilos but anyway, I've had porridge for breakfast because I didn't feel like cooking sausage and egg and all that. Um, I don't think I'm going to eat before I go to work, so that's going to cause a problem because I might get hungry at work. And if there's crap on the table, I might be tempted to eat it. So I... Anyway, I made a bolognese sauce and some zucchini noodles and I'll have that when I get home for dinner. I've been having snacks, um, celery, carrots, uh, Philadelphia cheese, uh, capsicum and um, liver pate as a snack instead of having a full-blown extra meal. I'm trying to get back to the two meals a day deal that I did because uh, I really want to get into the 74 kilo range. So anyway, at the moment I'm doing the snack with the raw veg. And then I think I might have had some nuts as well afterwards. But, um, yeah, I did. I think I had some nuts. And we had some chocolate nuts left over from when we went and bought the nuts. But, of course, nuts are high in calories, so you shouldn't really. I mean, you could be, eat 300 calories and hardly have eaten anything. But uh, nuts and dried fruit are going to be... Well, I'm, we're going to get some more fruit tonight. Um, and then nuts and dried fruit and regular fruit. Once I've eaten all the dried fruit, I'm just going to eat regular fruit and no more dried fruit because that's also bad. I mean, some keto people have dried fruit, but you can't have a lot of it. Um, I was using it as a chocolate substitute, so when it comes to being a chocolate substitute, it's a healthier option. But um, I'm going to have to stop doing that as well because it's got high sort of uh, glucose glycemic index or whatever they call it so 75 kilos still pushing trying to get into the 74 range which is no good because I really need to be in the 73 range so let's keep going hopefully I'm in the 73 range by the beginning of October